Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the ideas of supply. Now, we've been dealing with supply and demand here, but we are getting rid of the consumer. Get them out of your head. We're focused only on the producer for this section. Supply, you know, consumer, no. We're naturally uh, designed ourselves to that low prices are better, that cheaper is better. And you need to stop thinking like that because you are a producer in this section. So get the ideas of low prices and being the consumer out of your head. Producers, remember, <clears throat> ultimate goal is the producers want the highest price possible. Never let that leave your skull for this area. Don't say things like, oh, the buyer, or don't say things like, oh, the consumer. Don't say things like, well, the people want. No, get rid of that. It's gone for this section. Now we're dealing with supply, and that means producers make goods and services in an attempt to get profit. Keep that number one in your head. There's nothing wrong with that. We have been programmed to identify low prices as good, high prices as bad. No, low prices are good for consumers. High prices are good for producers. Supply is really simple. The idea is that supply is the amount of goods and services available. That's it. It's the amount of goods and services available. So, of course, suppliers make those goods and services. The amount available is supply. Supply curve slopes upwards. We already know that. Why does it slope up upwards? What makes it slope upwards? Well, it's the idea that price impacts not quantity demanded because we're not in demand anymore. This is now quantity supplied, and there's a direct relationship between price and quantity. Remember when there was demand? When prices would go up, quantity demanded would go down. Prices go up, people want less. Pretty simple. Well, here, the direct relationship means when price goes up, quantity supplied actually goes up. This kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If I'm a business and I notice the price of something rising, I can make more because I make more money. See how quick and easy and simple that is? And the reverse also occurs. Price drops, quantity supply drops. I'm getting less money for the, the goods and services I produce. That means I can only produce less, right? Because I don't have as much money. This idea of price and quantity supplied is known as the law of supply. Price goes up, quantity supplied goes up. Price goes down, quantity supplied goes down. Direct relationship between price and quantity supplied. Now, let's put, you know, kind of an example. Uh, this is oil. Oil is super desired around the world. Of course, it powers... Um, energy and automobiles and trucks, but it also creates um, candles and uh, lubricates things and toothbrushes, plastic cups, dustbins, um, measuring cups, the little uh, rubber balls, hula hoops, um, pharmaceuticals, polyester, uh, all these different things are made out of petroleum. And a barrel of oil is how we measure oil by the barrel. And the barrel is about 48 gallons. So let's make this a market in petroleum, a barrel of oil. And let's say that we start saying, well, okay, well, the producers around the world want to produce oil. And of course, oil is not free. To, to actually get oil, you have to do some, some serious work. So let's say oil is really cheap right now, okay? Let's just say oil is like $5 a barrel. Well, there aren't many places on earth that are going to bother to do anything at $5 a barrel except for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, the oil is very close to the surface. doesn't take a whole lot for them to just go, and there we got oil going pumping. So to them, it is worth it to go ahead and pump oil at a low price. They're going to make plenty of money because it's easier to get to. But all of a sudden, for whatever reason, we don't care right now. We just noticed that the price of a barrel of oil starts to rise, and it goes to $15 a barrel. Then all of a sudden, the Islamic Republic of Iran, which is in the Middle East neighborhood, says, oh, now it's worth it for me to uh, put the drills in the ground and start to drill for oil. So at $15, all of a sudden, you have a new producer on the market. The quantity supplied of oil goes from here to here. You have more barrels of oil because more people are pumping oil. 
And then all of a sudden the price jumps again and it goes up to $40 a barrel. And now we go to Alaska where it's significantly harder than the Middle East to drill, but because oil is now up to $40 a barrel from 15, oil drillers in Alaska are like, wait a minute, now this is worth it. I'm gonna make some money here. Yeah, I know how to do this, okay. So they start putting their drills in the ground in Alaska and you know, because the price is rising again, Quantity supplied goes from what 70 to almost 200 barrels of oil supplied. Quantity supplied, the amount of oil rises because the price goes up. Then we get into like $60 a barrel, and all of a sudden jumps over 100 barrels of oil. As the um, you know, at $60 a barrel, the big old rigs that you see out in the Gulf of Mexico, massive things. Um, it's really expensive to move them out to get them into the ground to drill in the deep water of the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But at sixty dollars a barrel, you know, oil companies are like, "Yeah, we're going to make money now." So these guys are pumping oil. These guys are really pumping oil, and you have quantity supplied going up as the price going up. Currently, the price for a barrel of oil is ninety-one dollars a barrel. Now that means that you have other countries going places, maybe even exploring really hard places to find oil and starting to pump oil. So the amount of oil on the world stage, quantity supplied, a lot more. Why? Price is high. That's simple. So when price goes up, quantity supplied goes up. Now, why does it slope upwards? Well, when you're asking why does the supply curve slope upwards, you're basically asking why do producers make more when the price rises? And it's really not that hard. Number one, current producers can actually make more as the price rises. Saudi Arabia originally started producing oil at $5 a barrel. When oil gets to $60 a barrel, they're making so much money that they can hire more workers, they can buy more equipment, they can explore more land, they can take more risk, all because they're making a lot more oil. You know, oil rigs in Alaska are going to uh, probably hire people when oil goes from 40 to $60 a barrel. Why? Because they, you know, more potential to make more money. Prices rise, more oil is produced. But it does something else. Remember that price is the signal wrapped in an incentive. So there are people out there on the market that have been like, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm thinking about getting in the market of something. And when they notice the price of oil going up, maybe people are like, you know, what if I got a new oil drilling business? And it's worth it for me to get out there. I'd make some serious money. And this is why the misnomer out there that when prices go up, that all of a sudden um, businesses like keep money or whatever. No, businesses make money by buying and selling goods and services. So new producers out there, entrepreneurs, they may not even really care about um, some of the products that they start to get into, they may be just watching the market and saying, wow, I'm noticing the price of that thing going up. Maybe I need to get in on that. <clears throat> and then what, the, what does that do? It creates more of a quantity supplied. Low price, quantity supply is going to be much lower. High price, a bunch of suppliers get into the market, new suppliers get in the market, quantity supplied goes up. And remember, since this is a change in price, just like when we dealt with the law of demand, the law of supply is a change in price only and it's movement on the curve. Notice you don't see this curve moving anywhere. We just are on the curve going up and down. Okay, So law of supply, movement on the curve because when it's only a change in price, it stays on the curve. So when you're thinking about supply, get rid of the consumer. Take the consumer, the buyer out of the equation. Think purely about the idea of getting the highest price possible. Think about the law of supply. Price goes up, quantity supplied goes up.